Okay, guys. Collaboration with Vivi. Um, thank you for this beads. I appreciate this. I'm so excited to model in front of the camera for you to remote. Yes. Vivi beads. No, it's not Vivi beads. It's Miss V embroidery. Vivi embroidery. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's get to photo shoot. I am a third year BA social worker student at the University of the Western Cape. I'm currently pursuing my second degree. My first degree was in Bachelor of Arts, majoring in Psychology and Sociology. Today, I was taking a photo shoot with my co host Caleb from Crazy mm. Kind. Mm -hmm. And we did it, we currently at Munis Forest taking the photo shoot with my boyfriend sitting right opposite there. <laughs> And Amy on that side, and Caleb being the director of this production. <laughs> All right, so tell me, Vivi, what brought your interest into embroidery? I started out with my niece, actually. She had an entrepreneur day, so now she had an idea. So me and her mom came up with the idea of a bracelet, and we went to Beats for Africa, and that's where we started doing the beads. A bracelet, a small bracelet for the grade two to grade three years old. And I was like, wow, this is actually a nice hobby. So I invested in it, bought my own beads, and sort of beading. And I was like, oh, this thing is getting expensive, buying beads and just doing them, and it's just sitting there. So I was like, hmm, why not sell them? So then I started making small bracelets from the bracelet, I started making neck bead. And then I was like, I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do more patterns. So I went to YouTube. YouTube is very useful, by the way. So I went to YouTube and I looked at how to do some beading patterns and that's where it started. And I started expanding my art and I wish to inspire it even more. And in future, I hope to go and collaborate with Vendor Beads and Debele Beads and Tosa Beads as well into the mixture and some African cultures. And yeah, after my studies. Hmm. Um, you mentioned the future that's gonna take it further. What's your vision going forward? with the beauty making? My vision is to be a business woman. I would like to have my own beauty workshop. Currently, I am known by Miss V Emporium. And you can go to my handle on Facebook, vv.vvsigatele. Um, we'll, we'll put the link below. <laughs> um, yeah. Would you be considering teaching others as well how to beat as well? Or? Is it to is it everything? I think as soon as I am settled in terms of I've mastered the patterns of beatings, I would definitely have tutorial videos showing people how to keep themselves busy, mm. how to take pictures themselves, how to take beats themselves mm. and be creative because now with the COVID nineteen people are at home and ma managing your study, for example, and also your household, you get tired. Mm. So having a small hobby is helping me to keep it sane because I'm keeping myself busy with my art side of, of my personality mm. and at the same time I can be with my family and do my schoolwork. But I just needed to balance everything out so I can make my whole spiritual life equally balanced. Okay. Um, are you planning on selling these beads and, and for how much would you be willing to sell them? Yes. So the beads that are worn by Caleb that bead will go for five fifty, and the beads worn by Amy, that bead will go for six fifty. And with my other pictures on Facebook, you can see them. There are different varieties of them. You can just direct message me on Facebook, and then I'll answer any question you like. Guys, if you're watching this, this is the the artist behind the amazing beads, as you can see here. Amy's wearing one. I'm wearing one. The amazing model over there, and the amazing design over here. You gotta, you gotta represent, man. I gotta represent. I'm useless. I have not this is, done this, is your, this is your work. You should be proud of it. You should be like. I am, but I'm not done for so I'm so, I'm so useless. It's like.
All right, can you give me a, this is demonstration of your okay. lovely beads? So this is one of my Nick bead. The inspiration of this bead was the sun and the clouds. So we all know that the sky is blue, the sun is yellow, and now we're in the nearest forest, which makes it almost like you're in Mother Nature, basically. You are in Mother Nature. It's, you are experiencing, the, you're bathing in the sun of glorious, if you want to say like that in nature so we're embracing nature especially with the COVID-19 going on it is nice to enjoy mother nature and understand the concept of cherishing our environment and keeping everything safe in terms of reducing the air pollution and recycling our environment yes. okay is there can is there a specific sex, sex to it or can anyone wear the same kind of beads or do you like have different sizes for different gender or how does it work Anybody can wear a bead. Anybody. It's all up to you what you feel comfortable with. It's, it's unisex. Mm, so if you feel comfortable in wearing a certain bead, go for it. If you want a model out, go for it. At the end of the day, you are your own aunt and nobody can tell you how to dress like, how to be like. So if you're comfortable in a certain bead or if you know you can model that bead, go for it. Who oh. am I to tell you about which gender you should be wearing? With this bead type, you how, just wear it. How long did it take you to make it? How long take me? This specific bead took me a day. Amy's one was a, a day, and then a week of ideas <laughs> that came yeah. later. <laughs> so yeah. it so, was a currently he's a model and coming to the picture. So this is Amy's one, yeah. This is Amy's one. So this one took me a day to process it and how to make it like to vision like that because I was like, hmm. What if I add a different sequence instead of just being the breast itself? We'll have more sequence trading down. Okay, so it's a day. Yeah. All right, that's cool. It's like a little raindrops on a cloudy day, but mm. then the sun peeking through. <laughs> oh, so does every design have a different meaning? Yes, every okay. design have a different theme. So, like my previous one was the blue ocean, that was inspired by the different colors of the ocean, from going from blue to light blue to just white. So. That's how I I look at my environment and see my inspiration within my environment. And then I design my beads. Okay, thank you. Ruby. Thank you, Kayla. That's amazing. You did a great job. Enjoy. Wait, can you do crazy kind? <laughs> yeah. Crazy kind. <laughs> All right. So, thank you, Vime for allowing me to model your amazing piece. I really appreciate the whole journey that I experienced. Thank you for your boyfriend also to film the scenes that I couldn't do as I was the model. Normally I prefer being behind the camera to get all the shots. So Z-Man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you as well, Vivi. Um, Amy as well, the yeah, top the model, model I was here. Um, yeah, like hey, Vivi said, if you want to check more of the stuff, you can slide into a team to make sure you don't slide into the business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, looking forward to greater things from your side. Maybe I see great things happening, amazing bees, awesome designs. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Crazy guy now. Link in the description if you want to check it out. If you want some, go check it out.